So, finally got the chicks home. They came in a box with some grass. Um, can't really fault the people who sold them to me because that's what they were doing. They were just going for a car ride. Here's a shoebox. Punch some holes in it. Throw some grass in it. Call it a day. Five dollars a piece. Five birds. Twenty-five doll hairs. I got what is it? two definite blacks. One kind of sort of black. Oh, I guess I got three black ones. The yellow and black one. And then the gold and black one. The yellow and black one has already attempted to break out of the shoe box. That's why they're now in the milk crate. Um, I had to go out to the van to get the bag of chicken food that I had in the van. And he or she had already gone up to the lid because this was open basically like this. And had already climbed from there into there. And Sky was, well, this was right here on the couch. But Sky was basically like right there going, no, we stay there. So she's trying not to be a Jack Russell. Trying to tap into her inner wiener dog. Her inner mommy. Because she is six years old. These are babies. But at the same time, like if they break free, she's like, yeah, we're chasing. Let's do it. She also wants to play. But she can't play with them because they're babies. I'll let her do that because she's just kind of looking in on them and her size. But she knows that there's a certain line between leaning in and leaning in for real. And she hasn't leaned in. She's actually been really good so far. So that's a good thing. Um, I only had to drive, I guess about six miles, seven miles to go meet the people at what was effectively an abandoned gas station and wine cellar and get there early, park in the shade, no problems. Um, the, the dude shows up with his girlfriend and a little Honda from like the nineties. No problem. Cool. Here's $25. Here's a shoebox full of, sh full of chickens. No problem. I get like a mile away and my tire blows out. And I'm going like 70 miles an hour at the time. So, you know. And it wasn't just a flat tire. It was a ba boom. So that sucked. And I guess I should probably just incorporate it into the same video. Make life a lot easier. It's funny because this is the tire with the soft wall that I was always paranoid about. This is the tire that I refused to patch and instead insisted on selling me a new tire. And then, as you can tell, right here, I can't get any of these lug nuts off. And I genuinely gave it all the effort I could. That's actually plastic inside. And it broke off. And so the Walmart people put the lug nuts back on so tight that I actually broke one off. And I still can't get it off. Uh, or any of these off. This is like this because I was stranded on a country road with two lanes. One lane coming, one lane going. No sidewalk, no shoulder, no pull-off areas, no street lights of any kind. And if you're lucky, you get maybe 20 cars every hour. So, yeah. And, and most of those cars are uh, workers for the solar farms, which solar farms is solar panels by like 30 acres at a time. Oh, and it looks like the rim is actually poking out. See how it's actually coming out? Unless that's just me. I don't see it right there. I see it coming out right there. So. There's my $700. Because I guarantee it is going to cost a lot more than $700 to bring that son of a bitch back from the near dead. It's kind of like a horse. It gets a broken leg and all right. Bye bye. Anyway, one more look. 
You have black with gold underneath, or yellow. You two are genuinely black. Mm. And then they have this itty bitty little cup of water and they just keep filling it up with straw. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'll just get something flat and wide, like a saucer. I was gonna use this, but probably too big.